Alrighty folks, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing Graves Jungle, and we're currently playing... I don't really know the ELO, to be honest. Uh, playing on a smurf account, so we're like a few games into smurf queue. Um, you know, and that obviously means the games are pretty sketchy. Sometimes they feel like really like high ELO games, and then other times they feel like just uh, complete noobs on both teams. It's a bit of luck of the draw. Alright folks, this game we're gonna be doing a little bit of jungling. Starting on red buff, and we're gonna be farting towards bot lane. Now the reason we're starting red this game is because of the lane states, right? We have Vladimir top with TP and whatever this is, phase rush, right? So no ganks are gonna be happening in the top lane for the foreseeable future. Um, our top's not gonna be doing any real damage. Got mid Zed vs Cassidy. It's actually a nice matchup for Zed, and I do want to try to um, give him pressure whenever I can. And then I have a nice matchup in the bot lane Ash, Lux vs Jinx and Jenna. Now I should be able to get some good ganks off lot with the Lux bind, Lux D, and Ash, um, you know, slow, etc. So that's why we've opted for this jungle path. Now we're going red into Raptors into Grump so that we can get level 3 as quickly as possible. And then, since our bot lane has hard shoved, we're not going to go bot lane and look for the gank because there's not a lot of point towards it, right? So instead, we're going to link back up, take our wolves, and then go to our blue. Now, this allows us to continue pathing towards bots, so we're able to actually move towards the bot lane quite easily when a play does arrive. Wow, nice. So we saw Sejuani look for the Q flash there on Zed, and Zed flashed it. That's excellent. You can also see Sejuani has done three camps here and she has no blue buff with only a red buff. So we could assume that she did a full clear on her bot side here, on her red side. So with that new information, we're going to quickly walk up here a little bit and check our raptors just for some confirmation on that. That is the case. I'm going to hit the blast plant. Right, so now we're going to see when both of those camps respawn on the map because we've spotted them. We're going to jump over here. Quickly take the Scuttle Crab, ping the Sejuani's most likely on top side Scuttle Crab. And we'll continue looking for that bot lane gank. Ah, uh, okay. We need to hit this one more time. So they'll only die on about 52 health now. Um from your burn damage, etc. Alright, that's okay. Got the Janna Flash. And I'm actually gonna loop around and see if there's a potential dive angle here. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not the worst. But the... These sums. I think that we could have got that kill a bit sooner. I think maybe I should have uh, played it slightly differently also. Alright, now... Based on lane states... Probably need to go and help our top laner here, otherwise he's just going to get frozen on forever, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go do our chickens really quick, and then we'll go and part top lane. And it's more than likely that Sejuani is bot side right now. Okay, we see Sejuani's mid. Excellent. Grab that kill. And can we grab the ward here in time? Yes, we can. That's awesome. I see top lane's fighting, so instead of going back to my chickens, I'm going to run straight top. This might turn out good, especially if Fiora takes some tower shots. No, she doesn't. The wave is most likely going to crash there. It's like 90% chance of crashing. Okay, yeah, so it would crash. This guy is pulling the wave. I can't really walk there and stop him from pulling the wave, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I probably could, uh, and I'd just get chunked and recoil off though, but I think the better play for me is to go to my chickens and go to my crux and then meet top when my Vladimir gets back. Because Vladimir is most likely going to try and crash the wave, and more than likely Fiora is going to try and haul in the level 6 power spike. So I believe she'll have level 6 by the time Vlad gets there. So, I'm going to sneak up here, but I'm actually going to go into the lane bushes here. I think that's going to be a better opportunity for a gank. And I was correct, the Fiora is level 6. So, we shall see 
what he's going to do. A player is just like what? Okay. Actually getting killed so hard by this guy. <laughs> okay, this guy's just griefing. I'm just going to go path bot. Um, since he's not trying to play the game. But just let him do whatever he'd like. A summoner has disconnected. Big by Fury Dave. This is something that happens relatively often in Smurf Q. You do happen to end up playing with a decent amount of, uh, I don't know, just like straight up losers, like people that are griefing the game. Has been slain. Actually, I should collect the wave since it's going AFK. That's my ball lane is popping off after those uh, early ganks we dropped off down there. So I guess I'll quickly... Wait a second. Hold on a second here. Okay, the Fiora kind of ran it there. Well, since my play is AFK, we're going to quickly shove out this wave here also and get a crash into the Fiora. And that's going to help out a little bit more. Now, we're going to instantly base hit. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to run straight to this Herald, kill Herald. Don't need to sweep here. Don't need to use any ink cords or anything because we have Umbra Well. We're going to quickly start doing this Herald. The reason we're going to do the Herald here, it's not efficient at all to do Herald right now, but because our top lane is AFK, what might happen is Fiora might solo the Herald when she notices he's AFK and then use it to like um, stack up a huge wave and crash it. Behind me. Nice. That's actually really good. I got the flash out of the Fiora. Not sure what Zed's going for here though. Ah, oh, he's dead. I don't really get the Zed play. I think that is insanely. Oh, he's pink. What? Ah, oh, these people. Holy shit, he's bad. Okay. Interesting. Ah, uh, theory there by my Zed. Let's actually turn the chat on and uh, be a little example for you folks as to why having chat on is absolutely useless. So, as you guys can see, the disconnect between uh, ELOs here is kind of crazy. So Zed is saying, don't do objectives when we haven't got kills first. Yes, this is clear. I don't know what this has to do with Zed walking in and uh, insta-dying for absolutely no reason. If anyone could figure that out, um, I'd appreciate it. Excellent. Grab the pick there. And yeah, I would like to do the drag here. Um, but I do think that Golden XP is more valuable than Drag. Drag is not Herald. Um, big difference between the two. And hence why I prioritize the Herald. Yeah, Zed dying through Shutdown Gold got absolutely zero for it. And he's then angry at us. Especially, it's also weird because he played the fight so poorly. I was just trying to get that. The reason I was trying to get that is because I think this guy is insanely bad. So, when you're playing with players that are really bad, you, know, you want to try and get the gold for yourself. You're always getting a huge gold injection here, but once she's taken that um, next tower, it's going to be much easier for us to actually play around her. Because the waves will be closer to our base, so easier to collect big pushes in when she shoves in. Hopefully Zed goes top here and collects the waves um, and doesn't die, but we shall see what he does. I'm going to quickly finish shoving out the top waves. All Zed needs to do is clear the wave, but we'll see what he does, as I said. And this guy should be free. 
is not free. So we do armor items. God damn. Uh, what do I want to get here? It's a hard question. I honestly feel like a tank build is the play. Okay, let's test it out. I need to battle test this build anyway and see if it's uh, good in really hard situations. So, this is a great opportunity. Does he get it? I'm gonna run bot here, shove out the waves, maybe even kill these guys, and then drop the uh, herald. All right, dropping the herald because I don't have any seconds left. Let's see what Zed does here with his uh, roam prior. He's getting hit by Sedge. bad. This guy is super delusional. Uh, Ash taking my red too. This is... I'm getting gapped by my low elo teammates at the moment. They're wasting time like doing jungle camps etc. when they don't do it fast. And uh, permatyping when they're not as good as they think they are. Where's my red? I asked him what rank his main was, and he said a lot higher than your rank will ever be. Kind of sounds like he's wood in the question. Very classic. A lot of barking, but no bite. I'm gonna quickly do my two camps here and then I'm gonna take my base, have my item. Don't particularly want to let this Fiora take Harold, but it might just be the case. I really need to try and get my JG item completed too. It's probably one of the biggest star uh, requirements at the moment for us to win. I don't know where Fiora is. Oh, shit, what? Nice. Okay. I'm not joking. Ah. Wow, it would have been so nice if I could kill him. That's gonna kill him. He's just gonna reset. Damaging salt. I would say they should go to this uh, Herald. If I had had my base, I would have easily murdered that Cassid in there. Or if I played around the Zonyas a little bit better. Okay, Sedge only flashed. My Zed should kill him. He plays with uh, his hands here. This drag is not very useful. I don't particularly want to be going to it. I think we need to play for gold next B. But since Ash has basically done it, I as well collect it. Just another jungle item uh, mark anyway, so that's good. I'm going to look to kill this chicks here if I can.
That has managed to die. Where are we at? Where are we at? I'm gonna get Black Cleaver into um, Hex Drinker slash more this game. I think that's gonna be the play. This uh, enemy casted is a little bit fed. This guy is going um, ravenous, but I don't think it's going to be very useful this game because he's not staying alive enough. No wards throughout here, so that's all good. This guy not going to clear the wave. Spending way too much time talking. This guy is so distracted from the game. I'd actually be able to run this guy down, yeah, to be honest. Definitely can. This uh, kind of showcases how this new build works. Okay, flashing. It's fine. If you can ever get someone with an auto attack, you can basically run them down regardless of the champion. We want that last stack, so we're going to move over here to Gromp, collect the Gromp. And hopefully not have to give another red to Ash either. Because not really a lot of point doing that. She already slows. Okay, we'll Just takes her a bunch of time. And XP waste. I also don't like this. What? Bro, get me the fuck away. Guy still has W, so it's really hard to get the kill here. I'm trying to wait out his ults. You got it. Damn. Kind of pain. Did see the Fear Ignite come out there, so that's good. And I also did get the um What did I get? Oh I got yeah, casted a shot down, that's what I was gonna say. It's definitely still winnable, it's very hard though. Now that I have these items, I can do a lot more. I don't know why my Ash walked in. She walked mid. Fly shoved the wave so she could walk mid. I feel like I need to ping micromanage my teammates a little bit more to uh, get them to play a little bit more efficiently. Hmm. I can play off Ash ult here. Who do we want the Ash ult? Probably Janna. We see the Janna poke in here too far, we can uh, look for the Ash ulti. Yeah, we probably do not want to ult uh, Cassidy. Excellent, uh, except for Zed getting the kill there. Yeah, we need to go towards this top. Not say getting the kills. Pretty happy for Ash to get the kills. And yeah, we will move over to Ocean Drag here. Um, no need to really rush it though. Enemy team is all dead, except for Sedge, and Sedge is the only one who can steal it. She has Smite. One big thing this game is Sejuani hasn't finished her jungle item, and I have, and that's helping me out a lot in this game. This is water for sure.
wish they would wait and listen. Um, we don't have any uh, Baron. We could do Baron, but I don't trust his teammates. But yeah, Baron would be the play here um, in a high elo game because they're like key characters are dead and we can zone the uh, Fiora and Kasdan. But the issue of this game is I don't trust that they will play slow. I can kite this guy pretty well also here. I'm a level 15, tier level 12. Auto attack slowed. Oh, I played that bad, man. I should have been able to murder him there. Oh, there's, there's so many things I did bad that I really needed to dodge his W. That was like the biggest thing. Oh, as I used all spells on the uh, parry. Nice locks. I think she kills both. She wants to. Excellent stuff. Yeah, misplayed there by me. Look at that Fiora tree damage from the uh, LT. Ridiculous. Alright, what I need here is Randall and Zerman. Reason being, Jinx is a fully crit champion and Fiora crits too. So, gonna grab that quickly from these camps, and then you're yeah, chilling. I should have been able to kill that um, Fiora. I'm pissed. But I didn't kill him. If I just spaced better and used my abilities better, I would have got him. It's amazing how my teammates are no longer perma typing and they're playing much better. You know, they like they're distracting and tilting themselves instead of just playing the game. We're doing Baron here. Can't stop them. Don't have any vision. No Ashy. Anyway. This Lux is, uh. You're driving, holy shit. I really want to look for a pick here with the uh, Ash LT. I want to pretend like I'm doing Baron, but I don't actually want to do Baron, I want to bait it. It's hard to communicate that to my teammates. Still have my more here, so I'm kind of chill. Excellent. Mates listen to me, maybe? They're not really listening to me, but anyway. Yeah, it's definitely worth the most to get Baron and Recall and Drag here over in here, I think. I think realistically Drag is our win con, but we don't want to have to trade Drag for Baron. Yeah. This guy of course didn't listen and went in bad solo, which means we have to 3v5 for the drag now. This Z is um honestly really making this game a struggle. But yeah, right now hopefully enemy team pushes mid more and I just run them down. That's really the play here. Yeah yeah, yeah nice, he's still here. I hate the new pings. Excellent. Hiding there. Double kill. 
Now these guys here should go to the inhib. But yeah. In lower ranks, it's super hard to communicate all the things you want your teammates to do. Yeah, Ash, Janna could have gone inhib and we would have secured both inhib drag. Now it's a lot harder, so I'm going to stay out of vision here and let Ash push by herself, and that way I can potentially surprise them when they uh, run out of the inhib at her. She's pretty safe here because enemy teams coming out are all weak champions, and I want her to come over here. Alright, now she can base. Excellent. I'll wait until she gets also basing so that it's safe. I can live for a little longer than she can. So when you're playing a tankier champion, you always want to make sure that you let your like squishy teammates base before you. And also, generally speaking, the tankier teammate can afford to uh, die, whereas the squishy slash wave clear late game, you know, necessarily, not necessarily afford to die. Yeah, I don't know what this is doing. Strolling. You should definitely not be in any position to get caught out. Since uh, me and Ash just left the map. Yeah, folks, this is uh, showing how to 1v9 in an extremely hard game with uh, my bad teammates. I think Ash and uh, and Lux are like a little bit better than uh, the average in this game, but they're not hugely good. I'm able to be here because there's two mid. And if you're a top. Jinx is wasting all the mana there to uh, rocket for me. Don't mind that. Just still wasting mana. Jinx walked up too far, so quickly take her life. Let's go dead also. Excellent. This is free. Just using the dragon to regen here. Got Cassid and Janna coming in. You definitely take this fight. Just need to play it correctly. Let's play more. Excellent. Got him to waste full charge leaving. The more old charges he uses, the more it's going to start costing him in mana, so it's uh, definitely in my benefit to get him to waste his old charges, especially when he's leaving the fight. Alright folks, GG well played, until next time, hopefully you folks learned something from this game and how you can carry harder games. Peace out.